What's going on guys? Welcome back to Uber Adventures. I'm John and today we are taking a look at the A-Liner Classic. Before we jump in, I want to say thank you to everybody this past uh, weekend uh, that helped my channel kind of explode. We're almost pushing 300 subscribers. That means the world to me. If you're watching for the first time, please don't hesitate to help out. Go ahead and smash that like, subscribe, bell notification, the whole nine, especially if you do actually like the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. All my contact information will be down in the description. I also try to comment on every uh, comment that's down below, as long as it's not just being a kind of a, a mean comment. Uh, but at the same time, now, as far as pricing goes, I don't typically put prices on these because, I mean, I'm sure y'all understand that Prices have been fluctuating drastically up and down. Uh, I will put it down at the time of shooting this video. If somebody asks, it'll be that price. I don't mind putting it down there, but it can change based on if we sell this unit and the next unit might be cheaper, the next unit might be more expensive. It's just kind of how things have been. It just depends on how much wood, how much all these materials are costing, and that can affect the cost of the RV, even if it's the exact same RV one month after another. It's just the way the market's working right now. So uh, hopefully we don't see anything fluctuate that extreme. Hopefully we'll see some things going down, honestly. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Let's take a look. All right, so in front, we have our tongue jack. It is a rotate style or a crank style, however you want to call it, uh, to go up and down. It's perfectly fine for this. You do not need an electric tongue jack. This thing is so light. They, they actually put built-in grab handles here. Let me show you on this one a little bit better. This is a Ranger 12, it's the same size. And then you have the grab handles right here. And if the uh, stabilizer jacks weren't down, you'd be able to move this no problem. And this is about as high as this one goes. This one might go a little bit higher because of the dormers. So that gives you an idea of about how tall it really gets, which for me, it's almost as tall as I am. So, but obviously the dormers do add about that much extra width on it. They are all fiberglass and Asdale side dormers, which in my opinion is a better option than the plastic ones because it, if you've ever ridden in a Jeep, the hard top is so much better. It keeps out a lot more noise. It rides down the road better. Uh, obviously this doesn't drive down the road, but it keeps out a lot of the noise and it'll also keep out a lot of the weather and stuff like that. Like it'll stay warmer inside or colder inside, depending on what the ambient temperature is outside. So. Uh, that's why I like these better than the, plas the, the, the thin ones, the plastic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then you do have two tanks of propane, and then you have a place to hook up your battery coming around. And of course, you got the big, beautiful window in the side of the dormer. And then you have uh, your front storage. So this whole side is fiberglass with Asdell attached to it. So basically what Asdell is, is it doesn't get affected by the temperature. So it can be hot or cold and it won't delaminate or cause any cracking. It doesn't react to water like a lot of other materials, especially like wood. You're always gonna have this tough, solid outside that a lot of RVs just don't have. So this is always a plus to me. The other cool thing is they put the exact weight as it sits. I mean, obviously it had a battery, but it weighs 1,973 pounds dry weight and 172 pounds of tongue weight. So you could easily pull this with actually a Jeep. So you can pull it an RV this size with a Jeep, no problem. Or really small crossovers could pull this as well. Uh, coming around, so if you do have a Jeep, this is actually pretty awesome because this is actually lifted and it does have 15 inch off-road uh, wheels and tires. So it's pretty cool. The other cool part is your spare tire is a full size. So if you do get a flat, you're not dealing with putting a tire that's too small or looks weird or that you have to drive extremely slow just to get to the next stop to be able to replace or repair your tire. So you're going to be good for the rest of your trip. That's always a plus. Uh, you do have light on the side. It is controllable. It, you don't have to be plugged in is what I'm saying by that. And then you do have two 110 plugs and then you do have a off-road sticker right here you can barely see maybe we can see it better on the other side of course it's a tight squeeze so there you go you got your little it's supposed to look like tire tread so it's kind of cool it's an easy way to tell if these are if it's got the off-road package and of course you can tell pretty easily off the tires 
So these tires are pretty tready. So whereas the non off-road tires are noticeably less tread. Yeah, you can just tell a huge difference. Now this one does have the uh, optioned out burner for the outside. You can always uh, go with the grill instead or however you want it, cooktop. There's different options. You do also have your rear storage here. But just like what I already said, I mentioned the uh, spare tire stabilizers in all four areas. And I do love how convenient it is to get to the uh, the drill area or the, you know, you can use the little thing. But I found a Black & Decker, I can put it in the link down below, uh, Black & Decker drill that works just fine with these. That's what I use personally for 30 bucks, or it's actually under $30. I'll, I'll link it down below. And then you can get the little drill bits and I can link that as well. And it's a lot easier to move them up and down. And the fact that it's just right there located, you're not having to get under the actual RV or reaching around. It's super easy and convenient to get to this location. LED tail lights all the way around, of course, and not tail lights, tail lights are only in the back, but all your safety lights and brake lights and mounting lights and all that, they're all LED as well. So all the different lights are LED. Who cares how I say it? Uh, coming around, we have your city water. So you're just gonna hook up your hose. Again, I think that's brass. Yeah, brass, I'll go with brass. And then of course you have your tank, which is 11 gallons, six gallon hot water tank, your satellite hookup, and then of course 30 amp plug-in, which we do have this one plugged in. And then coming on down, you have your shower hookup. And then if you have a briefcase uh, solar panel, you can hook it up there. And of course more LED uh, safety lights. Coming around, we're back to the front. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside and see what we got. All right, coming straight in. Before we go all the way in, uh, we do have at the entrance, we do have a fire extinguisher and we have your microwave. On this side, you have an entrance to the storage that is actually also hooked up through here. So if we open this, we can see the outside, no problem. Now, if, you wanna, if you're having a hard time putting whatever you're looking to put in here, there is another way of going through the top you can go through the top, you just pull open the plywood and you can get access to the entry into the storage underneath, as well as obviously the outside, the inside and the top. So there's, there's multiple ways to get in there. Right in front of us, you can see the Dometic refrigerator. We have a faucet and a sink. And then of course you have your, it can be a bed, but it's mostly a, uh, a place to sit and eat and actually enjoy. Um, I do have a video that I've already filmed where I turned that into a bed. I can link that up top. That'll be the A-Liner Classic, or not the Classic, the uh, Scout. Design, it's the exact same way. You just lay the table across. You can also take that table out and enjoy it in different ways. Uh, it doesn't just have to be in here, obviously, because it is fully movable. Coming around over here, you have your air conditioning and heating down below underneath this uh, couch or sofa you have your fan controls thermostat you have usb a ports right here you have 110 plugins right here and then you have a 12 volt and a um, plug-in right here and then you have your fuse panel and then you do have I believe that's your gas uh, uh, if you have a gas leak it will alarm you so there's actually quite a bit you do have storage underneath both of these on each side it's very little storage but it's storage nonetheless same over here and then of course this turns into basically a king size bed I will give you all the specs here in a minute regarding the entire bed and the size on this side, as well as on the front side as well. So they, they, they do become fairly large, so they're pretty easy to get enough sleep in. And then you do have a vent right here. And you can control all that right there. That's super cool. You can actually bring the air in or out depending on which way you want it to go. 
pretty cool stuff. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see my future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Uh, and if you have any questions, all my contact information will be down in the description. You can always just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and when, coming up next are the specs, which even though I covered probably majority of them as walking around this, but again, the specs will be down below or I'll be saying it right after this. It's a crazy day. I'm tired. Sorry. All right, guys, until next time. Peace. All right, let's go over the specs of the classic rear sofa. So the length of this RV is 15 feet. The width is 78 inches. The closed height is 64 inches. The gross vehicle weight is 3,000 pounds. And then the dry hitch weight, again, is about 160 pounds. The fresh water tank is 11 gallons. The front bed is 46 inches by 76 inches. And the rear bed is 56 inches by 76 inches. It is a three cubic foot fr uh, fridge and freezer combo. It's got a 16,000 BTU furnace. And of course, this one has the lift kit and the 15 inch off-road tires with the, the uh, decals on the side as well. And that pretty much covers everything. If you do have questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll be more than happy to go over it. And until next time, bye.